Your crane lift is amazing. When I stand on it, it doesn't sway at all. It's just like standing on flat ground. My name is Venti, and I work at the salvaging company. I guess you could say it's my home, too. The moment I saw you, I felt a sense of familiarity. Let's be good friends. Since we're already good friends, I must give you special treatment. For example, next time you come to dig for scrap in our salvaging company's scrapyard, there won't be any charge. <laughs> well, if you want to dig for scrap next time and didn't buy a pass, just come find me. I'll take you in. Just don't tell the other builders.
We must never give up hope. Hmm. Has Owen told you about his new idea? It's even been approved by the church and all. We're going to make the world a better place. Ah, let me fill you in then. Short of it is, some small villages around Sandrock are just scraping by, eating sand rice three meals a day. Owen, being the boss he is, decided to step up and ship some hearty meals their way. Only question was logistics. We pitched it to the church and they were on board right away. Had a bit of back and forth. They said they'll help deliver meals if we... Uh, Owen cooks them up. Right? I think it's kind of amazing. These small villages are pretty far from Sandrock, and the desert is a relentless climate. Not so fun fact, perishable food starts to spoil after only two hours in the heat. Plus, if we're going to bring them food, I want it to be fresh. Their lives are hard enough. They don't need soggy room temperature noodles on top of the you yeah, know, hardship and everything. So I designed an insulated backpack based on a takeout box relic found by the Civil Corps. It said that in the old world, people could enjoy fresh food without even needing to leave their house. These takeout boxes, they used an advanced technology to make a compound of aluminum oxide and silica powder. This compound is a soft, flexible material that was used for effective insulation. Using this box, food could be kept fresh long enough to ensure a safe and enjoyable delivery. I tried to get Chi to look into the tech for me, but he said it didn't seem worth it. Oh please, space tech isn't the only thing worth studying. Yeah, ahem, <clears throat> best not to get too worked up about it. Anyway, after a bit of my own research, I now have a recipe for the insulated backpack. Thank you so much. All right, come show me when it's ready. I'm kind of curious to see how useful this old world tech really is. So if you'll just move a few decimeters to your left, I think you'll find the pathway to the commission board to have become quite clear, allowing a way for me to snag a commission. Ha! No deal. You can't fool me with your mind games, Mian. Okay, I give up. Look at yourself. How long has it been since you finished that big elevator thing? And you're already back in here. At it again. You need to admit that you have a problem, Mian. You're a workaholic. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I didn't have anything going on today. What else would I do if I didn't pick up a commission? A whole heck of a lot else. I'ma tell ya.
Oh, shucks, another one of you. All right, that's it. This is an intervention. I'm taking the two of you out to do something fun. No commissions allowed. Um, I guess. It wouldn't kill me to take one day off. And I am pretty tired. Hey there, I guess we're going somewhere. Want to join us? Of course you're joining us. As I was saying, what you two need is to relax. And what better way to relax than a rigorous and debilitating day of mountain climbing and yakmel wrangling? Uh, hey, L. That does sound really relaxing, but I stubbed my toe this morning. Better stay out the mountains for today. <laughs> so, why don't we just stop into the Golden Goose Gaming Center for a little bit instead? Wh huh? G games? Oh, but that's kid stuff. Cool, mature adult type folk like us spend our leisure time running free on the wild front. Oh, fine. I guess if y'all really want to, we can go to the game center. But I'm not playing any y'all's kid games, all right? I'm just there to keep you company and make sure you don't relapse. Woohoo! Now let's hurry on over. We'll see you there. Yeehaw! Let's all not forget. The light technology helps finds architecture. a way to guide us. Always. Hmm. We were just about to go in. Ready to get your game on? Well, here we are. Same old game center. Yawn, y'all can pick a game to play. I'll watch. I think I've seen folks on these games before. On some, two people can play at the same time. I guess the point is to see who the better gamer is. Whew, I'm falling asleep listening to myself explain this. Guess it runs in the family. Don't mind her. How about whack-a-mole? Let's try that one first.
you do that? You gotta teach me. That was fun. I played that one by myself, but it's even more fun with two people. Eh? Where'd Elsie go? Could she have gone inside? Let's check. Work me up an appetite. Onward, posse. Let's head on over to the blue moon to rustle up some grub. Yeah, come on, let's go. This one's on me, cowpokes. Go ahead, help yourself. But don't just go and order all the most expensive stuff on the menu. I only work part-time for my parents. Y'all, hold tight. While you're ordering, I'm gonna go grab a surprise. Don't worry about me, I'll be right back. A surprise, huh? I wonder what on earth she could be planning. Oh well, let's eat. Ooh, I never know what to eat. There's so many choices. Uh, why don't you decide? Oh, uh, did you forget the kind of thing I like to eat? No, no, it's fine. I'll eat it. Ta-da! I hope y'all left room in your stomachs for some... surprise. Don't be shy. Go ahead and open it up. Gosh, Elsie! You really had a gift all ready for us? You shouldn't have. Will you do the honors? Should have seen the look on y'all's faces. <laughs> you were all like, ah. Elsie! What? I told you I was gonna surprise you. Was I fibbing? I dare y'all to come up with a more interesting gift to give me. I'll be waiting for ya. Well, until then, I bid y'all adieu. That was fun. Until we meet again. See ya! See ya. What did you think of Elsie's surprise? 
Did it frighten you? So it's not just me. Halsey's always pulling these pranks on me. Sometimes I'm afraid to even leave my workshop. Well, it was nice to get out today anyway. If you get time, you should take your other friends out too. Maybe warm them up with a few gifts if they don't accept your invitation at first. I think you'll find most people to be more relaxing around. Halsey can be a bit... lively. Well, I better get back to the workshop. Catch you later. It was fun today. How you doing?
Yo ho, skinny! Fancy seeing you here in this city where we both live. How sick was that front flip? Ah, shoot! You're right, Skinny. That was a 9 out of 10 flip at best. I should always strive for perfection. That's what I like about you, Skinny. Always pushing me to be my best. But hey, just as I saw you running about through town and ambushed you, it got me doing something I almost never do. Thinking! We've been hanging out and chatting, and you're always giving me stuff and buying things. I'm starting to think. We've become really good friends. <laughs> I knew I'd be able to recognize friendship if it did indeed come along. So, hey, I think it's confession time. Remember how when we first met, I did a totally sick flip like I did just now and offered you a combat course? Well, the truth of it is, I don't really like teaching people anything. That whole tutorial shebang is really just an excuse for me to beat people up. Hard to believe, I know. But say, since we're friends now, why don't I give you a real combat tutorial? Maybe I can even offer you an introduction to... SPACE PUNCH! Well, duh. Of course it's great. I came up with it. Come, Skinny. We have much work to do. All right. We're here. Welcome to Space Punch 101. I'll be your Instructor, I hope you brought your <laughs> pen. <laughs> you don't really need a pen. That was just an icebreaker. So, the first thing about Space Punch is you take your hand like this and, uh, any questions? Come now, Skinny, don't be shy. If you never ask, you'll never know. Here, let me show you some more examples. Boop! Space Punch. S -s 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 space Punch! <laughs> well? Look, Skinny, this is my class, okay? I make the rules. I call the shots. Eh, uh, hands on. Right, right. This is my first time actually trying to teach anyone something, okay? But normally I'm great at everything I do after trying for like five minutes, so just stick with me. I, I know what the problem is. I can't just space punch out of nowhere. <laughs> Not without a target. Yeah, that's it. Follow me, Skinny. Behold, as I use my fist to paint upon this canvas of sky. Space punch! to challenge the protector! Yeah. Well, I think that will answer any questions you might have had. So, go ahead. Space punch time! Go for it! Oh. Oh no. I, I failed. For the first time in my life, I failed. It feels... Gross. It feels really bad. Dang it, Skinny. I failed you. My only friend and I blew it. Makes me so mad, I just want to... Ugh. It's not okay, Skinny! I can't fail! 
What will people say when they find out? Deep breaths, panel boy. <sighs> Just like the minister says, take all those bad thoughts and push them down. Deep. You know what, Skinny? This is going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. You know why? Now is not the time for joking around, Skinny. Everyone cares about what Penn does. Everyone's always got their eye on me, just waiting for that moment for me to slip up so they can laugh. But we won't let them know, will we, Skinny? We're going to keep this all between us pals, yes? <sighs> that is... good to hear, Skinny. Truly, you are a stalwart companion. Trustworthy, far beyond any length I could throw you. And believe you me, that's far. Very far. Mm. So it seems there really are things beyond even one such as myself. The glorious protector of Sandrock. You know, Skinny, I've never had someone I really considered a friend before. Furthermore, I always promised myself I'd never be friends with anyone who didn't have an awesome cape, but you made me break that promise. <laughs> Seems I couldn't predict the future. Perhaps there are many things I cannot do. Perhaps there is indeed a lesson here to be learned. When I got stuck looking into that mirror, failing today as a teacher, occasionally getting edged out in whack-a-mole from time to time. Perhaps the lesson of humility I often preach was meant for me. Yes. Yes, that's precisely it, Skinny. I can't just take my own greatness for granted. Even though I've historically been ridiculously awesome at everything and done so effortlessly, that doesn't mean it's always going to be so. I need to treat people better. I need to do something nice for Burgess. I I need to write this stuff down. Do you have a pen? I, I know I said you didn't need one. I wasn't planning on having an epiphany. You don't? Ah, well. I'm sure I'll remember it. Hey, look over there! A rocket rooster! Watch me tie its neck in a knot! <laughs> Smell you later, Skinny.
Ha! Stain in shape, builder. You should. Sandrock is a dangerous place. And I can't be there to save everyone all the time. <laughs> Just kidding. Of course I can. That statement is not legally binding.
Hi there, friend. I couldn't help but notice you're doing something illegal. We are not allowed to cut down trees near the town. Oh, cutting down trees around town can have some seriously negative effects on our environment. Seeing as this is your first offense, I'll let it slide. But if I catch you out here chopping down public trees again, well, I'll have no choice but to fine you to the full extent Sandrock Nuisancery Law allows for. Worse than that, though. Why, if I saw you chopping down trees, I... I don't know if I would want to be your friend anymore. But don't you worry. You can find wood scrap out in the desert, buy imported wood from me, even plant your own trees on your own property. See, plenty of ways. So you really have no need to chop these trees down. That's all, Builder. Conserve water and don't chop down these trees.
You're the new builder, yes? You're in my way. So long.
Ah, you're a new builder, aren't you? Charm, to be sure. I run by the stairs, the only general store in town. Nevertheless, I think you'll find our prices hard to beat. Oh, that's right. Matilda asked me to help you out, being new and all. And I thought of something I think you're going to love. For the next seven days, everything in my store will be 50% off. You look vibrant today. For a moment, I thought the sun was rising right before my eyes. But I think you would look even more radiant with a good night's sleep on a new bed that just arrived at my shop. Take her easy.
Greetings, skinny arms. No doubt you've noticed the countless granules of sand being mercilessly tossed about. This is what we in the business call a sandstorm. I'm here to inform you, as the protector of Sandrock, that you have no need to be afraid. We do recommend staying indoors until the sandstorm subsides, but in case you must go outside, the church has this free set of sand gear for you. Isn't it nice? These will help you move around in the sandstorm, but they sure as light won't help you much against the ravenous beasts that come out during the storms. And in case you're wondering why I am not wearing any sand gear, uh, to an experienced hero such as myself, these raging sands are but a gentle massage on my chiseled jawline. Well, good chat, skinny arms. Try to remember everything I just said. I'd rather not repeat myself. I saw a crazy big wild yakmal wandering around on the way here so I'm about to clean it up in a minute. Enjoy your gear!
It's you! <laughs> Dang, you got me good that time. Say, how'd you like to get in on a little secret? Here's the scoop. I may or may not be in the possession of information that may or may not lead to the capture of something big, real big. Something simply known in the Yak Girl community as IT. But I'm afraid that's all I can say for now. I'll let you know how it goes. See ya! You're back? Listen, I wasn't joshing. I said I'll let you know how it goes. Now buzz off and go build something. You'll scare off it.
Hey, Builder. Hot shopping again? Unfortunately, right now I have such a backlog, I just can't make time to help you. If only I could slip myself into thirds. One to watch a shop, one to deliver packages, then the last could go to the game center and just have fun all day. But alas, just this delivery alone might take all three parts. That would be greatly appreciated. It's a simple delivery. You just need to help me run this over to the customer. You see, this is a special condiment ordered by Owen for the Blue Moon Saloon, expertly made in Walnut Groove. Legend goes that with this seasoning, even a rock can be made into a delicious meal. The Blue Moon Saloon is one of By the Stairs' most cherished customers. Though, still, I do hope Grace doesn't let it go to waste. I'm a little worried about that. My store guarantees delivery within 24 hours upon supply arrival in town, so please don't forget, when you've delivered it, I kindly ask that you return to me and let me know. Thank you! Grace recently suggested that we send food to the surrounding villages in Sandrock. You know, I can't believe I didn't think of it myself. <laughs> she really is something. I took her idea right to the church, and they said yes without hesitation. Danby volunteered to be the delivery girl about two seconds after. <laughs> yeah, quite a few people in town are from the villages originally. You know, Burgess is, and, uh, Logan's friend, Haru. Ain't this the package I ordered from by the stairs? Why are you the one out here delivering it to me? Ah, so you're helping Arvio. <laughs> we'll take a Yakmo milk on the house. Consider it a little tip from me.
you've already delivered it. That was quick. I really don't know what I would have done without you.
Data collected from this sandstorm is valuable in understanding how they originate. Therefore, there is no such thing as bad weather, only hazardous weather. Goodbye. <laughs> 